What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. Tennessee opens up the season with Georgia State. We're going to assume a win there, but we do not have the rosters to simulate that game. And again, this is NCAA football 14, but with updated rosters for the upcoming 2019 season. That's why we call it NCAA football 20, because there, of course, is no actual NCAA football 20. So we go to the BYU game. BYU taking in for the touchdown there. They're up 7 0. Second quarter now. Tennessee still scoreless. They complete that pass, but they're going to be stopped at the one yard line. Fourth down and goal. They decide to go for it. They decide to throw it. Warantano finds a man, and they're pretty lucky to get that. Uh, so both teams then score. We're tied at 14 here before halftime. Tennessee punches one in, and they're going to go up by seven. Uh, BYU trying to answer back before halftime. But we get an interception. Tennessee comes up with a big turnover there. A second turnover of the day for BYU. And then Guarantano on third down and four. Going to take off and run with it. And he will run all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Tennessee on top by two scores. Now they're up 31-21. to We're in the fourth quarter. A big fourth down there. BYU picks it up. And now on a little option play, they're going to take it into the end zone. And we have a three-point game here in the fourth quarter. Tennessee trying to run the clock out. And they would do just that, BYU down to one timeout. Uh, and they wind up having another big run. And they could have taken a knee here, but instead they run the football. That's what you get out of a computer game sometimes. And they punch it in. So it winds up being a 38-28 to 28 game. But again, in real life, Tennessee would have taken a knee there. And it would have been a three-point win for the Volunteers. They play Chattanooga after that. Again, we are going to assume a win. No FCS teams are actually on the game, so... Of course, we cannot simulate that game. The next one is against Florida. So we picked this one up in the first quarter. Florida going on top early with a big-time pass to Van Jefferson. And it is 7-0 Gators. But Tennessee looking to answer back. They would. And we are tied now at 7. 17-14, Florida on top here as we begin the second half. Tennessee coming out of halftime with a big play. And that is going to be a touchdown. That is Marquez Callaway. And Tennessee on top. Now, 24-17, Florida late in the third quarter with a little option play. They're going to take it into the end zone. Tyree Cleveland, the wide receiver, runs it in. And we are tied at 24. Now, fourth quarter, third down and goal. Guarantano on the goal line, throws an interception. Just a horrible play there. Not sure what he was doing. That's the third turnover of the day for Tennessee. Florida puts together a long drive. And Felipe Franks is going to run it in for the touchdown. Florida now up by seven, but Tennessee with plenty of time. Second down and 14 here, and they get the touchdown. It's Callaway again, and we are tied at 31 under a minute to play. Third down and 11. Franks is going to throw it away, and that means this is going to be a long field goal, about a 48-yarder, and it's good. Florida takes the lead, 34-31. to 31. Fourth down and three. Last chance for Tennessee. They convert. And we and they're still alive here looking to get into field goal range. Guarantano completes the pass. No, it is dropped. Yes, it is caught. What what did just happen? He caught it. It bounced out of his hands and he caught it again. And Tennessee is in field goal range. And we are going to overtime here. Florida, third down and four. Felipe Franks runs it in. And Florida will score first here in overtime. Tennessee now with the ball in second down and ten. Guarantano looking, looking. Going to the end zone, and it is intercepted. It's another turnover, and Florida is going to win this football game in overtime. Five turnovers for Tennessee in this game. That was really the difference. They outplayed Florida for the most part, but those turnovers really come back to get them, and they lose this one. So Florida with a win, 41-34. to Tennessee's first loss of the season as they begin SEC play 0-1. Next game is against Georgia. Tennessee on top, 7-6, to six, and they pad their lead here, looking to pull off an upset. Tim Jordan runs it in for three yards out. Third down and three now in the second quarter. Georgia with the football, and I don't know what happened to the defenders there, but it's a touchdown for the Bulldogs as they would not get the two-point conversion. They go for two and don't get it, so uh, they were chasing the points there, didn't get it. They're still down here now. It's still a two-possession game, 21-12. Georgia right before halftime, going deep. That's a touchdown. Lawrence Cager, transfer from Miami, coming up with a big play. And we have a 21-19 game. Now we open up the second half. Tennessee still on top. They get the touchdown here. And the Volunteers are looking to pull off the upset. They're up 28-19 now with the football again, looking for more. 
Looking to increase this lead. Guarantano all day to throw, and for some reason decides to just throw a jump ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Georgia had way more defenders than Tennessee had receivers on that one. Jake Fromm, not known as a runner, but he gets one a little one-yard run here for the touchdown, and we have a two-point game. Tennessee now late in the third quarter, completing the pass, but it will be short of the first down as we, see, as we see Georgia's defense coming up big. They then in the fourth quarter take it down the field but are stopped so they go for the field goal and we have a one point game Georgia on top for the first time today 29-28 fourth quarter now Guarantano makes another bad decision and that is going to be intercepted Georgia going to make it a pick six and the Bulldogs are on top by eight but still one possession game third down to 12 here in the fourth quarter Guarantano looking looking going to go deep again and it's another interception as he continues to turn the ball over, not really what you would expect. That's four turnovers from Tennessee. Guarantano does a pretty good job taking care of the football, uh, but for whatever reason here on this game, he has struggled, and they get stopped there on third down, wind up punting the football. Maybe should have gone for it there because Georgia then picks up a first down, which allows them to run the clock out if they can get one more first down, and Fromm is going to pick it up. Georgia will run the clock out, and Tennessee – after having a big lead, once again, it's the turnovers that cost them. So it's good news, bad news if you're a Tennessee fan. The good news is that they're playing with these teams. You know, they had a chance to beat Florida, had a chance to beat Georgia. But the bad news is they are not winning because of these turnovers. The next game is against Mississippi State. Early in the ball game, Keaton Thompson on an option play. Bulldogs up 7-0. to zero. Tennessee now taking it down the field. They got a second and two here. Close to the goal line, but there is a fumble on the play. Mississippi State going to pick it up, and there is no one to catch him. No one. He is going to take this thing all the way for a touchdown. Mississippi State now up 14-0. 20-6 now in the fourth quarter after both teams add some field goals, and Tennessee is coming right back. They then take it down the field, under two minutes to play, another touchdown, and the Volunteers tie this game up at 20. 20 all, minute and 35 seconds to play. Mississippi State with the football. Keaton Thompson going deep, finds a man, and that is a killer for Tennessee as he takes it all the way down to the 10-yard line. They take the clock all the way down here, just 11 seconds to go now, and now they're going to run it in. Kylan Hill from eight yards out, and Mississippi State going to win this one, 27 to 20. Again, turnovers hurting Tennessee as they are 0-3 now in SEC play. We'll see if they can get this thing turned around. Next game is against Alabama, so I don't really like their chances. And we've already shown you this. If you watched our Alabama simulation, you saw these highlights, but maybe some of you did not see that video, so we're going to show it. Tennessee up, just like against Georgia, just like uh, in some of these games. They've had leads early. They're up 14-6 here. I believe they were up against Florida early as well. Uh, but Alabama coming right back down the field. We have a 14-12 game, very similar to that Georgia game, the way it started. Third down and nine here. Right before halftime, they're just trying to get to the half. But Alabama has other ideas in mind. Tua Tunga Bailoa going to take a shot deep. It's caught, and they have the ball at the 10-yard line. So they kick a field goal, and Alabama takes momentum and takes a lead in the halftime. They're up 15-14. Tua now on third down and four, completes this pass. Devontae Smith for the touchdown, and the Crimson Tide have a lead. 21-20 now in the fourth quarter. Alabama still on top, but Tennessee not going away. It's Jawan Jennings for the touchdown. Now they're going to go for two to make it a seven-point game. Don't get it, and Alabama will remain within five. Just over five minutes to play. Tua tunga Lua going deep, and he's got his man diving catch into the end zone. Big-time play there, and Alabama... Takes the lead. They're going to go for two now. Try to make it a three-point game, and they're going to pick it up. Devontae Smith makes the catch. And we have a 29-26 game. Tennessee, though, answers right back. And we have a great game going here. Fourth down and goal now for Alabama. Last chance. Tua is hit. Ball comes out. It's going to be an incomplete pass, but they do not pick it up. So now Tennessee just needs a first down, and they will pull off the upset. Instead, they almost throw an interception, but Alabama does get the stop. Just over a minute to play. Tua completes this pass, but they will need a touchdown. They're down by four. 45 seconds to play, and there is the pass to the tight end. Miller Forrestal for the touchdown, and Alabama takes the lead. They have a three-point lead here. Tennessee trying to get into field goal range. Guarantano running with it. He is hit. He is taken down. 
and they are running out of time. Going to get one more shot at the end zone. It is incomplete, and Alabama survives. So once again, Tennessee playing a top-10 team very, very close, but they come up short, just short on this one. 36-33, to the final score, as Tennessee remains winless in the SEC. All right, the next game is against South Carolina. South Carolina up 3-0 here, and they get a big-time run for the touchdown. They're going to go up 10-0. Tennessee is at home for this game. This is one I think that they really should really need to get in real life, but it is not looking good early as Jake Bentley runs one in. Tennessee now down 17-0. They're not going away. Guarantano going deep. Finds Dominic Wood Anderson, the tight end for the touchdown, and Tennessee is back in this game. Now, late in the first half, Guarantano on third down and 13, looking for points before halftime, again going deep, and it doesn't work out this time as that one is intercepted. South Carolina with their second turnover of the day, forcing their second turnover of the day. Jake Bentley now with the touchdown pass, and South Carolina really turns things around quickly. But Tennessee doesn't go away. We move on to the fourth quarter. Guarantano completes this one for the touchdown, and it's not over yet. They don't get the two-point conversion, but now it's third down and goal. South Carolina is sacked, and we have a one-possession game even after the field goal. Tennessee takes it all the way down the field on first down and goal. And they're going to run in for the touchdown, and they will be a two-point conversion away from tying this game up. Here we go. They are not going to get it. That That is incomplete. And so South Carolina looking to run the clock out here. They are stopped. Tennessee still going to have a chance. Second and ten now. Just over two, just over a minute to play. They are sacked, making a third down and 18. Fourth down and 18 here. Last chance for Tennessee going deep. And it is knocked away. That's how this one would end. South Carolina gets the win 27-25. Tennessee plays UAB after this. Not a guaranteed win, but we're going to say for the video that they win that game. Uh, they should win that one. But still, they are going to have to finish strong just to get to a bowl game. The next one is against Tennessee. Uh, against, is on the road at Kentucky. Kentucky up 7-0 here. Terry Wilson on third down and eight looking for more, and they get the touchdown pass. Lynn Bowden Jr. making the touchdown. Big time play, and Tennessee down 14-0. It's Kentucky's defense playing well in this one as well. And they're looking to make it a 21-0 game, and that's exactly what they do. Tennessee struggling, struggling big time. Halfway through the second quarter, finally they get on track, get this ball down inside the 10-yard line. Second and goal now. Guarantano, a little screen pass, and Tennessee is on the board. We have a 21-7 game. Moving on to the third quarter, they added another touchdown, and this would tie things up. So just like that, Tennessee back in the game. They tied up at 21 in the third quarter. After a defensive stop, they take it down the field again, but this time they are intercepted. They had a chance to take the lead there, but they throw an interception, and then Terry Wilson going to run it in for Kentucky as they take the lead back here before we start the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter now, that is ruled a fumble. There's a fumble on the play. It was a backwards pass. Kentucky picks it up, and they are going to push the lead back out to 14 just like that. But Tennessee not going away. Third down and inches here. They run one into the end zone. Ty Chandler, and we have a seven-point game. Kentucky just looking to run some clock. On third down and 10, they get stopped, and Tennessee will have the football back with a chance to tie this game up. Third down and 15. After a sack, Guarantano looking, looking, has all day. No, he does not have all day. He has taken down. It's a sack, and this will be the last chance for Tennessee. Fourth down and 18. Game is on the line. Can they convert? Going to the end zone. It is caught for the... No, it is not caught. That ball was in his hands. Great pass, and that hit him in the hands, but he could not hold on, and Kentucky is going to win this one. 35-28. Tennessee still winless in the SEC. They have to win their final two games of the season just to become bowl eligible, despite the fact that they've been in every game. Georgia, Florida, Alabama, all of these games, they've played with every team, but they just haven't been able to win. Will they finally break through against Missouri? They're up 7 to nothing here, but Missouri is coming right back, answering back with the Kelly Bryant touchdown pass to Jonathan Johnson. It's tied at 7. 
Third down and four here for Tennessee. Guarantano taking a deep shot. Finds Callaway. That'll be a touchdown in Tennessee on the on top 14 to 7. Now, Kelly Bryant throws the interception. Tennessee was up 21-7 at this point. And that was a big turnover here as Tennessee would cash it in for the touchdown. They're up three touchdowns. And there would be no looking back. Tennessee finally gets a win in the SEC. 38-14 to the final score. If they can beat Vanderbilt, they'll get to a bowl game. And again, it's good news, bad news if this has any real indication of, of what's going to happen in real life. And maybe it doesn't. But if it does, you're seeing Tennessee improve because they're playing with all of these teams, including, like I said, Georgia, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina. I mean, they've been in all of these games. But the bad news is that they just haven't found a way to win. Uh, if this is indicative of how this team looks in, re looks in real life, they should easily get to a bowl game because I don't see them losing all these close games. The next game, again, is against Vanderbilt. Tennessee up 7-3, looking to get to a bowl game. And they get a pick six. They're going to go up 14-3. Looking good here. Late in the first quarter, they get the touchdown. Josh Palmer making the catch, and Tennessee is rolling 21-3. Right before halftime here, Vanderbilt trying to get some points. They do. Look at that play. Nice catch, and Vanderbilt kind of back in the game. It's an 11-point game late in the third quarter. This would really get them back in the game, and they do get the touchdown. So we have a 21-17 game at this point. We go to the fourth quarter, third down and 10 for Tennessee. Pressure starting to rise, and they are stopped. And all of a sudden, Vanderbilt has a chance to take the lead in this game. Fourth down and seven. They go for it. Gutsy play call there because there were still over six minutes to play. It was fourth down at seven, and they pick it up. That could have been the play of the game for Vanderbilt if they're able to come back and win this one. Now it is Riley Neal for the touchdown, and Vanderbilt takes their first lead of the game. Tennessee now. Stopped on third down and one. They're going to go field goal. And it is tied at 24 with a minute and a half to play. Vanderbilt, though, still with time to maybe win this thing in regulation. They come up with a big pass there inside the 40-yard line, and Tennessee in trouble. The pressure really getting to them now. Vanderbilt trying to get a little bit closer there. A little risky with the time there. It gets down to one second. So here we go for the win, a 50-yard field goal. It is no good, and we will go to overtime. Tennessee up first, third down and one. Again, they're going to throw it and it is knocked away. Why do they not run the football? It seems like they throw it a lot on third and short here on this on these simulations. They knocked the field goal through, so need to stop now to win the game. Keyshawn Vaughn is going to take it into the end zone for the touchdown for Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt is going to win this game 30-27. to Tennessee will finish 5-7. and seven. They will not go to a bowl game. As they lose to Vanderbilt, they lose to Kentucky, they lose to South Carolina, Mississippi State. Despite the fact that they took Alabama, Georgia, Florida down to the wire, they are not even going to make it to a bowl game. We will see if things play out like play out like that in real life, or maybe they don't necessarily play with some of those teams and they can maybe get a couple more wins and get to a bowl game. Again, we will see. I have no idea if this is going to be correct. It's not my prediction. It's just what a video game says. Thank you for watching this video. If you're an SEC football fan, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us your thoughts down in the comments below. And for the latest in SEC football, keep it right here.